Assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will continue learning about social login in the previous lecture we used facebook login and we were not successful because of not having https now let's go to the github.com and here we will go to the settings and the developer settings and register a new application and here we will give the application name sims and the home page URL http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 and the application description learning Laravel and the authorization callback URL copy this and we have this callback authorization URL register application and here we have client ID and client secret copy this client ID let's paste it here and the client secret Let's copy these routes, change Facebook to GitHub. And here is our authorization callback URL, change this to GitHub. And in the login controller, let's change our driver from Facebook to GitHub in these two methods now let's check this and here we have sims authorized sims yes authorize and here we have error ssl certificate problem unable to get local issuer let's solve this problem go to this link and it will download a file and please note the php version that you are currently running Let's open the PHP folder. And here we will paste our file. So here is the file. Let's modify php.ini. This one, right click and open it in notepad. Press Ctrl F to find curl.ca info. And here it is. Remove the semicolon. Remove the semicolon and paste the PHP URL and this file name. Save this. Close the file and restart the web server. Let's start our server again. PHP Artisan Serve. And here we will try to log in from GitHub. And here we have done. We have successfully logged in. Now let's register a user.
we have now registered a user let's write some code here let's create an object tv user and user where first we will get the user of id that is the email we get from our github so the user email and we will get the first record and if we do have user then we will log in the user else so auth login and we will pass this object tv user and then return redirect and else user is not registered and here use backslash as I'm not importing this now here you can see that we are logged in let's log out and log in again and here you can see that we are now logged in so the API is working and if we want to register a user using github account then here we will write our register user code the user our new user and the username that we get from the github or any other service provider so the username and all of the other fields like email and password and here we will encrypt this password and we have to write some default password because we are not writing any method of registering the user right now so the bycrypt password and we will save this user and after saving the user then we will log in that user and then the user is registered and log in and then we will redirect it to home url so thank you very much for watching please subscribe the channel and like the video and if you have any question then leave it in comment section see you in the next lecture take care bye bye